Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. And it's playoff day, potentially three games in this episode if we get through the first double-legged tie against Nantwich. We could get promoted today, or it could be two episodes of Heartbreak in a row. Hopefully you stick with me. Roll the intro. So, this is how we're going to play in the playoff semi-final. There's two games today, potentially. First game is the playoffs. I thought there'd be three, but it's only one leg. We will see how that goes, and then we'll be playing either Bamba Bridge or South Shields in the final if we can get past Nantwich. Let's remind us how we've done against Nantwich. You've seen all the games against Nantwich this season. Um, the first ever game for AFC Greggs uh, at home was against Nantwich. We won 3-0. That was in episode one. And then a few episodes ago, we got battered and we lost 4-0. So, they're up 4-3 on aggregate over the course of the season. Let's change that, please. Um, and let's just see how close we were, because we were really close. This is what happened last episode. We were top on the final day of the season. We drew against Basford in 15th. If you haven't seen that, please go and click right up the top. The top link and we didn't win the league and that meant that FC United of Manchester, our rivals in this series, won the league. So we're going to go straight into the first game against Nantwich. We're not going to waste any time because that's what you're here to see. You're here to see AFC Greggs versus Nantwich. Um, I'm going to bring in a couple of people from the bench, I think. No, nah, we're not going to. We're not going to do it. We're going to leave it as it is. Potentially Molas comes off for Ian San that kind of thing that's what we're looking at let's admit the team Alex Laird is still in at center back because of course Malokwu is suspended for this game and I think the final as well if we get there so there's the teams then let's go into the game right um let's do pump fists this is a big match for us but even bigger for the supporters so give them a good performance fire them up they've not really been fired up from that which is a little bit annoying there's our team then with all those beautiful players can we keep hold of them next season some of them if we don't go up you never know this is Nantwich versus AFC Greggs as Nantwich's team the teams are out of the bakery can we get the win we have got the home advantage because of where we finished in the league and it's going to be a kickoff highlight for well potentially Nantwich but it could be for us as well you never know with a kickoff highlight oh goalie messed around with it quite a lot there Evans heads it forward. Divine, Vassallo, Pritchard. Greg's have won it back. Go on, Pritchard. Get a ball into the box. Get a ball into the box right now. Now, great ball in. Taylor is there. Ooh. Just looped. And I thought it was going to just drop into the goal then at the back post. But it drops the other side of the post. And Greg's have the first opportunity of the game. Picked up by Laird, though, after the clearance. Evans, again, has eventually got past his man. Good ball in. Taylor is there. Taylor should score. Please, Taylor, you've got to score that. You've got to score it. Ah, Natwich survive another day. Waters throws into Taylor now. What can he do with the ball on halfway? He's done a really good run to loop around everyone. Shoots from distance. Oh, thought he was going to score an absolute unbelievable goal then. He doesn't. McMahon, non-stop highlights so far. Headed on by Laird, but picked up by Langley. But Nasri's going to pick that up nicely on the left-hand side. Can he get balled into the box? He looks up. He can't quite get there. And Walsh is going to clear away, but not very far. Picked up by Pritchard. Pritchard has a little bit of space. Hall again. Shoot, Hall. Shoot. Oh, Nasri on the edge of the penalty area. Passes it into Taylor. It's in, and it counts. I thought that was well offside. Get in there. Come on, boys. We're 1-0 up. That's the goal we needed. Nice little pass there from Hall. Hall gets the ball and then plays it to Nasri. Nasri just kind of stands there for a bit and then rolls this beautiful ball into the six-yard box and Taylor does not miss those. Sometimes the goalie saves them, but he gets them on target. How close was this offside? Oh, it's only just on. He went off and then came back on again. Love that. Good striker play. 1-0. Corner to Nantwich. Cook whips the ball in towards the far post. Langley over the bar. Oof. That was pretty close. Nantwich pushing now. Divine with the throw into Vassallo. 
Ah, oh, I knew he was going to do it. As soon as Vassallo and they didn't come out of the zoomed out position for the throw in. And it's going to be a penalty and uh, Nanwich have a chance to get back in at Hughes. I don't think Dalrymple saved any penalties and he hasn't again. 1-1. One, one. We're still in it though. We're still the better team. I'm not too bothered about it as long as we then kick on and play the football that we know that we can play here at Greg's. We do have some very interesting talents here. Um, some good footballers. Ball played up. Malkin's going to head that on and Ward is going to collect it nicely. Potential chance for a ball over the top here, maybe. He's gone to Nasri instead down the wing. Nasri's gone over the top, though. Taylor is in. One-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Straight at the goalie. I told you, sometimes he hits the goalkeeper with them. But he usually gets it on target. That should have been big ball over the top. He's going to be picked up by Dalrymple. He's very far out of goal here. He plays it nicely to Evans, which is good, because I thought he was going to go over the top. We do to Taylor. One-on-one -on -one with the goalie. Unbelievable save. Taylor's there for the rebound. And there he is again. 17 goals for the season since March. Unbelievable from Taylor. Well done for Dalrymple for playing the short ball out. Evans plays a great ball over the top. Probably should score from the first one. Good save from McMahon. But Taylor is fastest to the ball with his 15 acceleration. And Greg's a 2-1 up. Come on, the boys. Come on, Greg's. Right on half time then. McMahon is going to go for a goal kick. He clears the ball long. It's probably for an offside rather than a goal kick actually in that position. Vassallo on the left wing. Gets the ball in low. It's a good ball in and it's 2-2. And now that piece of commentary has to stay in, which wasn't very good. But, you know, ah, God damn it. Well played from Nantwich, to be fair. Like, this is a good ball out. Good flick on. Good knockdown. Evans is sleeping at that right back position. Vassallo gets to the edge of the penalty area. And once he plays that ball low and hard, there's not really much we can do about it. Walsh is fastest to the ball. We were very stationary. And it's 2-2 at half-time, which is a very interesting score. We have the superior XG, which includes this huge rocket jump for a penalty. None which, apart from their goals, haven't really done much. Five shots, three on target. We've had 15 shots, so we're much the better team. Much more possession as well. And we're into the second half now. Throw in for Nantwich. Fensum. Cook. Plays the ball back in to Cook. And the ball's going to be picked up there. And it is. And Taylor can potentially come away with the ball. James plays the ball over the top to Hall. The central attacking midfielder. Beautiful goal. Chips it over him. Wonderful goal. And there we go. Greg's go back into the lead. That's three times we've been in the lead now. Let's keep it. Let's hold the lead. Let's do better. Good win there in the midfield by Hall and Molas, who came across. Hall then goes through one-on-one -on -one and makes it look very easy in this lower league. You love to see it. Um, yeah, beautiful play from Greg's. Kickoff highlight, though. I was going to make changes then, but not great. It's going to be Nantwich who bring the ball forward. Booted forward. Found Dalrymple. That's fine. Hold it, Dalrymple. Boots the ball long from Dalrymple into Taylor. Can he get his hat-trick? Taylor is through. There it is. <laughs> get in there. Come on, we're through to the final, surely now. Although there is over half an hour left of the game. Don't sing. Uh, don't go until the fat lady sim sings. But um, what am I on about? Dalrymple then. Great ball over the top. It lands on Taylor's feet perfectly. He rounds the goalkeeper. Puts it onto his right foot. Just rolls it nicely into that bottom corner. We love to see it. Great goal. Okay. Into the final 25 minutes here at the bakery we've had a great season if we can continue with these last two games that's all we need a yin san takes the ball from the throw laird comes forward plays it across to ward he goes long but it gives the ball away and that's not going to help his rating great ball into vasallo into the penalty area lovely ball into malkin now what now what now what do we sit with this amount of time left, I don't know if we do. I'm going to take Ward off now because he was kind of responsible for that goal. Um, Cummings is going to come in and hopefully he can make a bit of a difference to us. He, is he six foot four? Yeah, six foot four in the air. We need someone like that. Hopefully we can change things and make a difference here. Um, I'm also going to go into balanced and just be a little bit safer with the ball. Um... We're going to leave it on, let's time waste sometimes, and that's all we're going to do for now. That's all we're going to change, 
Just to become a little bit more safe, but not too safe. We don't want to be holding the ball for too long. Four minutes to go. Three minutes to go. Two. One. Into added time. Nantwich with a chance. Ball into the penalty area. Oh my god, it didn't go in. Oh my god, it didn't go in. Thank god. Time ticks away. Will that be it? Blow the whistle, ref. Yes, we're through. We're through into the final. And that, that free kick right at the end was ridiculous. It flashed right across the face of goal. Landed at the feet of their striker, who taps it against the outside of the post from like three yards. That's ridiculous. Wow. Michael Taylor, unbelievable performance. Hall did well as well. Some good performances in the team in that game. We're in the final. Congratulations, boys. Let's get on to the final then. And let's not bottle it for the second episode in a row, please. Please, please, let's not bottle it. Please, please, please. A lot of overrunning in this season to the point that we are now at the 9th of June. The transfer window has opened and I've signed a player for next season, Bale. Not Gareth, obviously. But um, he's come in before we've even got into the next league or not got into the next league, depending on how we do. So there's Bale who's come in. He's a decent midfielder. Got some really good stats, but um, just shows you how much we are overrunning with this season. And we're going to start to get transfer offers now. Reading are making an offer for Owen James. Reject, absolutely not. He's going to be annoyed at that. And we've just had an offer for Michael Taylor. And it's like three or four thousand pounds rising to six. Um, and I think we're going to struggle to keep him in the transfer window because he wanted to join Leeds. I told him no. Hopefully he doesn't leave. Like 16 finished. Like these stats are going up. He's so good. If we can keep him 13 appearances and 15 goals in the league this season, it's ridiculous. If we can keep him, then Jesus, we're going to do well. But at the moment, it doesn't look like it. Right, what is a little bit frustrating is Owen James has been called up on international duty to the under-19s of Scotland. Um, so we're actually going to bring in Adam Bale, who's just signed for us. Um, and he's going to play in the playoff final as his debut. But he's a good player. He's a very good player. I expect him to do pretty okay. What's his favourite preferred position? He is ball-winning midfielder, so we're okay in that field. Um, Malukwu, can you play? Malukwu's still out. He can't play. Apart from that, we're going to keep the team relatively the same. Let's go into the playoff final then, lads. Come on, Gregs. Up the Gregs. Gregs is life. Let's do this. Right. Um, the fans are expecting promotion, so let's win this for them, is what I've gone with. Seem to work. We're at the, are we at the bakery again? I think we're at the bakery. Okay, that could work into our hands. We've been pretty good at the bakery this season. We are the form team. Certainly, with a couple of losses for Bamber Ridge in those last few games. And early stuff for Greg's is that we are a little bit off the pace here. Just a little bit, which I don't like starting games slow. Pritchard, great ball in. Oh, no one really going for it, but Ward's come forward. That's going to be well offside. It's gone to Lapworth in goal. He's kicked the ball long, and it's really good tackle, but it's going to fall anyway for Armstrong in the penalty area, and that's 1-0, and Greg's are 1-0 down. And are we going to bottle in the... In the Playoff semi in the playoff final as well as on the last game of the season. <laughs> Surely not, boys. Surely not. Good ball in from White. Nice pass. Armstrong finds the finish across the goalkeeper. And that's not what you want to see. That's a poor start from us. Throw in for Greggs. Hall on the edge of the penalty area. What can he do? Lovely to bail. Nasri into the penalty area. Can he find something? Gets the ball in. Taylor's there. And it's a really good save. Cleared away. Ah, get in. Come on, boys. Get it in the back of the net, please. Another throw in for Bamber Bridge in the attacking third here. Thompson goes, but Bale picks it up nicely and clears long. Knocked down for Molas. Molas is bearing down on the goal. Can he get a shot away? He can, but he was never going to score as soon as he slowed down. That was the end of that chance. Corner to Bamber Bridge. Whipped into the far post. Al Rimples caught that. Can he play the ball over the top? That's what he's set to do. Taylor is the only one up, I imagine. He's taken a long time to let him get forward. He has then gone straight over to Taylor. Taylor one-on-one -on -one with the goal. He's straight at Lapworth's arms. Ah, you want to see some better stuff there. Waters whips the ball in. Brown Sterling heads it down. And that's going to be the end of the highlight, I would imagine. Unless Hall can do something magical with this. Good ball in to Molas. Oh, straight into the hands of Lapworth. Half time. 
And we're 1-0 down in the final of the playoffs. However, we've leveled up the shots on target. We've leveled up the possession and we've leveled up the XG. So I'm reasonably happy with how we've responded to the goal. A Yin San picks the ball up from a throw quickly. Back to Griffin. He dinks the ball forward and is very poor. And just a little bit too direct there. And I might make us a little bit shorter on our passing. Although Darren Paul over the top. Can Taylor get there ahead of the goalkeeper? And well, nearly thought he was going to. Really poor clearance though. Pritchard is there. Bale. And we've let the chance go. I thought maybe a, a first time shot there might have been okay. Nasri forward. And it's... Oh, it's bounced over him. Oh, Jesus. If Taylor was just a little bit more awake there. Perhaps we would have been through. Lapworth has a chance to continue this highlight. He does do... Oh, Dalrymple, that's dangerous. Waters plays well, though. Well played, Waters. Actually, well played, Dalrymple. Over the top in search of Taylor. First time in the volley. Wide. We've won a throw. Waters throws it to Nasri. He takes on his man and gets past him. Nice little ball down the line to Taylor, who's going to stride forward into the penalty area. Can Taylor do it? It's wide. It's wide. It's wide. It's wide. It's wide. One XG now. We've just headed into it. I just I was about to make a substitution. We've got a highlight. Ball cleared forward. Knocked down. Hingham goes forward in search of Brown Sterling, who's been very good this season. Sinclair, leak blunt, but he gives the ball away to Hall. What can Hall do with this? Can he play in a Yinsan? He can. At the back post is Taylor. He gets the ball across. Great pass in from a Yinsan. 19 goals for the season for Michael Taylor. And that's why we brought on a Yinsan. It just that brings that little bit more unselfishness to the team. Sometimes I prefer him to Molas, but I've been sticking with Molas because of his goal scoring record so far this season. A Yin San, just so unselfish, and he does that quite a lot when he plays for me. Very happy with that. His assist total goes up, and Taylor's goal total just keeps going up. And we've managed to get the goal, and now here is a chance then. Waters with the free kick, dink forward to Taylor. He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. What a save! How has he done that? I mean, it's offside, but how has he saved it backwards? That was ridiculous. Throw in to Bamber Bridge then. Long throw to Armstrong, flicked on perfectly. Oh my goodness. That was not okay. <laughs> um, into the last five minutes then. Probably want to draw extra time now rather than go for it. I'm just going to dip us down to balanced for the added time. And then we'll go back. Oh no. Oh no. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this, Gregs. Not like this. No. 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 <laughs> No. Oh my goodness. Um, uh, I, I just don't know what to do here. Um, as high up as you can possibly go. Very, very urgent. Um, you know, boot the ball over the top, distribute quickly. As m direct as you can possibly go, as high a tempo as you can possibly go. Shoot on sight. Um... We're not playing for set pieces anymore. I'm happy to pass into... No. I'm not happy to pass into space. And then, of course, very attacking. That is all we can do for the remaining 30 seconds of our season. Oh, it's the last thing we needed. It was the last thing. A stupid free kick on the edge of the penalty area. And it could have cost us our season. And it is. It's going to cost us our season. And Greg's have bottled in two episodes in a row. And there is no way we can keep players like Taylor in this division for more than the next month or so. We need to get a big price for him. A lot of sell-on fees, maybe. But Jesus. Oh, it's gutting. It's gutting. But you can't win them all. It would be unfair if we just whizzed through this league really easy in every single league. We're going to be stuck in the Northern National Premier for another year. I'm disappointed, guys. I'm disappointed. Oh, I'm really disappointed. No. To do it so late on as well. To do it so late on. Gutting. Absolutely gutting. Absolutely gutting. I'm, I, I, I don't really know what to say, if I'm honest, guys. I'm absolutely distraught. Um, The draw for the... Playoff minor semi-final. What's that? Wait. What's this for? Do we still get a chance? <laughs> what is this? I don't know how the league works. Um, Apparently we're playing Salisbury for the playoff minor. Well, guys, <laughs> apparently we've got more games to bring you.
game against Salisbury then. This is going to be a bumper playoff episode. When I looked at the uh, rules and saw that it was just the one leg for the semi-final, I was like, oh, it's not going to be a, much of a bumper episode. But it turns out it is going to be. Well, then, this could be, this, this is big, big, big news. Um, Michael Taylor could be leaving for pittance, for absolute pittance. Four and a half thousand pounds is this. And I'm I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight for him. Um, really can't stress enough. Um, your lack of ambition is disappointing. I'm not sure I can carry on my job. Ah! No, no. Asked to renegotiate the transfer. Maybe it's it's not a good deal. It's not a good deal. No. Please don't lose him. Please don't lose him. Not before the game, anyway. We're going to have to play the game. We're going to play it with him. Right. At the bakery yet again. We lost our last one in the 90 plus 3. Somehow we have another chance. Let's see if we can do something from this game. The teams are out. Greggs versus Salisbury. So there's a bit more of a regional change for this. Hensford and Bognor Regis. So really right round the countries. Jeffries throws the ball in. Hall comes away with the ball and he stumbles through just about. Can we play in? Oh, don't shoot from there. Don't shoot from there. Benson back to Somerton. Dinked forward. Cleared away by Laird and Taylor's going to pick that up on the left-hand side. Can we get the ball in towards Molas at the back post? We can. Molas is kind of there. Taylor's going to stop it from going out for a throw-in and he's going to cross the ball again to Pritchard. Off the bar. Cleared away. Only as far as Donny Longa longer, but that's going to be the end of the highlight longer longer with the free kick though dinks the ball forward it's curled all the way to taylor and taylor oh please don't leave please don't leave 20 goals since march is ridiculous i mean we've had some extra games donny longer longer great free kick look at it curl just holds up and the goalkeeper's in no man's land wonderful goal if we lose him i don't think we're going to get promoted i really don't Oh, it's... I'm going to be gutted. I'm going to be gutted if he goes. And he will go on to other things, I would imagine. Waters throws the ball into Taylor. Taylor looks to find someone. He finds Hall. Taylor again. Can he go forward? He does. He gets past everyone, strikes the ball, and it's wide. Salisbury FC have a goal kick. Thrown in by Jeffries. Good tackle from Bale. Wait, no. Ref. Ref. Nah. Nah, ref. No way is that a red card. Are you joking? Are you joking, ref? No way. We do have Owen James on the bench. Thankfully, he's come back from international duty. And it's going to have to be Molas that I sacrifice again. Um, also, Nasri is a little bit injured. And we're going to have to bring on Neil Patience as well. So we've got Patience and Donny Longer on, on the field. So I'm glad I managed to have these extra substitutions to do that. It's not looking great for us now. We're down to 10 men for a long time. Oh, dear. 60 minutes with 10 men we were the better team as well thrown into cooper flicked on headed away by laird we can still do stuff with taylor up front though that's the thing if he can do something laird waters patience hall good football from greg so far don't lose it here though patience again dinks it forward to taylor he knocks it down to waters into hall patience left hand side great ball in taylor is there come on get in there we need as many goals as we can all of a sudden. My voice is going. Um, <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Waters brings the ball down. Hall takes it. Back to Patience. Patience, who's just come on as a substitute, by the way. Dinks the ball in. Taylor finishes. Patience and Donny Longa Longa, the two people that I have brought in for this game, have both got an assist. I'm just an expert manager, clearly. Greg's going 2-0 at half time then. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that so far. Taylor, of course, saving us. 15 minutes left. I'm probably going to make my last sub here. Um, and I'm probably going to bring on Cummings at right centre-back for Malokwu. Just because I need Malokwu for the last game of the season. I don't want anyone else to get sent off, really. 2-0 then. Ticking away into the final part of this game. There is a free kick right on the edge of the penalty area. Right where they chipped it in from in the 90th minute against us last game great ball in and it's another goal that we've conceded crabtree great name aaron crabtree uh, 
yet again, we're throwing away late goals from this position right here, exactly where they scored in the 94th minute last game against us. Just hold the ball for the next two minutes. We do, we get the win, get in there, into the final of whatever this weird playoff extra bit is. I don't really know, but um, if we can get through it, then we do well. We could lose Taylor, though. We have kept Taylor for this last game. Um, more people in offer for Hall. We're going to lose a lot of players here that I thought were pretty integral. And that is going to be our team pretty much the same as last time, except Patience is coming in and James. Those are the only changes. Taylor still starts for us. We still have Taylor for now. It's this probably his last game, if we're going to be honest. Can we do it? Let's let's submit the team. Donny Longa Longa wears the captain's armband. We will secure promotion to the Vanarama National uh, League South here. So we can. That is that is what's on stake. We're still in the playoffs somehow. This weird playoff tournament that we've somehow ended up with. But um, yeah, apparently we're still in it. This is it. Bognor Regis Town. Rivals of my boyhood club, Haven and Waterlooville. So a little bit of personal vendetta in this game already. Greg's lineup as normally in their 4-1-2-1-2. There is a potential formation change next season. We'll talk about that in the like preamble for the next season. Um, but yeah, into the fourth game of the episode. Bogner Regis versus Greg's. Donny Longa Longa's been booked, but he has a throw in. Throws it into Pritchard. Nicely played. Longa Longa keeps the ball in play. Great ball in to Taylor at the back post. Oh, he's not megged the goalkeeper, but he's put it wide. Oof, ball in from Waters. Hall on the edge of the penalty area. What can he do with it here? Waters whips the ball into the far post. Molass and Taylor are there. It's disallowed. I thought Taylor might have been offside. Was Molass offside though here? Is this a mistake from Taylor to finish this? Or are they both off? No, he should have left it for Molass. Molass would have scored and it would have been fine. No. Corner to Bognor Aegis. Thrown in by Buchanan. Headed straight at the... Oh. My goodness, straight at Dalrymple. You know what, you can go Dalrymple, mate, if you're going to do that kind of rubbish. Headed in from Wood there, and that is tragically terrible from Greg's there. Oh, he's just parried into his own net, like, that's really poor save. And there's a lot of players going down with injuries now and looking tired with the last game of the season. And there is a chance for Bognor Regis. Good ball in, headed away. Going to be picked up here by Molas, is it? Not quite. Mendoza does better. White forward to Mongoy. He plays it nicely to Lethbridge. This is a nice move from Bogner, keeping the ball well here. There's a couple of passes on that they're going to try and find, and they do find Davis with the cross. Lethbridge has just been left to walk in at the near post. What are you doing there, Laird, man? What are you doing? What is your thought process there? I don't understand. I don't understand. We're going to bottle three chances at promotion in six games davis whips the ball in right just it's not it's not led it's led i apologize although that should be you it's malokwu who's potentially our best player sometimes and we're two nil down and i don't really know what to do if if i'm all honest come on let's show a bit of desire is what i'm gonna say and i'm looking at this team and look how many players are on 6.2 6.1s here a lot of players 6.4, 6.5. Like, nobody's really grabbing the game by the scruff of the neck. I'm going to bring on a Yin San at striker. I'm going to bring on Alfie Coburn at cam. And this is going to be Greg's last chance to get promoted. Three chances to get promoted so far. We've wasted two of them. Longer, longer. Whips the ball into the penalty area. Taylor is there. It's over. It's wide. And even Taylor isn't having a good game. 60 minutes in. Mendoza. Good ball in. That's going to be the end of it. That's going to be the end of it. Three chances. Bottle central. Bottle central. AFC Greg's water bottle right now. Oh my god. It's so bad. Free kicks this season. Those How I've conceded almost every single one of my goals is a free kick like that. Just every single one. I don't know a tactic to defend them. I don't know what to change. James comes forward to get us a consolation goal maybe. He's going to shoot it straight at more. Good save, to be fair. I don't really know what to say here, guys. Walls whips it in. A Yin Sun's there. It's hit the post, and we're not going to get the luck. Cleared away. We're just not going to get the luck. We're not going to get anything here. We're going attacking. We're going to have to just throw throw the kitchen sink at it now a little bit. Going to tick away. And we're going to end up 
unfortunately, going out in the final yet again. So two finals bottled and the final day of the season bottled and Greggs are going to lose their star striker for next season. I mean, it's a nice goal from Pritchard. It really is. I'm going to I'm going to try. I'm going to I'm going to try. <laughs> Maybe we can FM them. Yeet it forward. Yeet the ball is the tactic. Can we get one more chance maybe and then maybe another? No, we can't. It's going to tick through into added time. 90 plus 3. Buchanan with a free kick. We're just going to concede again. Headed away. James has it. He hoops the ball forward to a Yinsan. Pritchard. I mean, that's a red card right there. Pritchard. I mean, why couldn't you have done this 10 minutes ago? We're not going to get another highlight. We're not going to get one. There's not going to be another highlight in the 90 plus 3 with four minutes added on. Oh, it's cruel. It's cruel because it makes me think we could have won it. That's more annoying. That is more annoying than losing 3-0. I would have rather lost that 3-0 than 3-2. Ah. Oh. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Ah. Oh. We've not been promoted and it's been the longest season and the longest episode of AFC Greggs you're ever going to see. Four games. We've lost the important ones. We've lost the important ones and um, we've not been promoted. And I don't really know what to do now because we're about to lose Taylor as well. I mean, he is a professional, so he's not he's not going to turn this offer down from Leeds. Uh, I just hope he plays. I hope he does well happened it's happened he's gone 15 years old and he has been sniped by Leeds we get 20% of his next sale which I think could be a couple of million quid you know um do you reckon he'll start for them in the Premier League probably not um he's a very good player though very good youth player he's gone to Leeds United um and Dalrymple receives yet more bids which were constantly in fact, we're not even rejecting them anymore. They're being accepted as well. Sure. Why not? You know, just sell all my players. And that pretty much means next season doesn't look good for us. We're back to Molas and Yinsan, who, yes, were scoring goals, but not in the same way that Taylor was. Oh, I'm going to lose more. Like, just leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> Stop stealing all my players just realized that i have not yet done an outro for that last part of the video but uh yeah it i'm gutted i'm gutted about how we've ended up from that episode but hopefully you enjoyed it uh if you did enjoy it please subscribe to the channel and leave a like leave a message of encouragement for next season if you can what should i do should i change the formation what what should i do basically who should i get in um, what positions do I need? I think I need fullbacks. I think I need wingers, but um, we shall see. I may do a formation change. You never know. Um, so yeah, please leave a like on the video. If you want to join me on Twitch, I stream every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday from 7pm BST and I am considering streaming more as well. Um, so please join there, twitch.tv forward slash the underscore steak underscore bake. And uh, yeah, if you... Uh, follow me on socials as well thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one see you later and remember be kind to one another bye bye